Hello guys, welcome back to another Android Studio tutorial. In the previous episode, we already learned about what is the difference between explicit and implicit indents. So by using the implicit indent, you can start a component which is available in another application using its intent filter name. In some situation, there is multiple components are available on the same device with the same intent filter name. In such situation, the Android system will issue a dialog that contain the applications which hold components with the same indent filter names. So here we have application A and application B. Application A contain an activity which is available to share with other application called activity 2. So now here I am going to create another application. So start a new Android Studio project. I name the application as application C, app C, click next, click next, create a blank activity, click next and click finish. Okay, now we have the newly created application available on Android Studio. So in this application here I am going to create a new activity. So right click the application and create a new blank activity. I name the activity as activity tree and click finish. Okay, now here I am going to make some design on this layout. Okay, now here I finish the design for the layout that contain two text view. First uh, will display the application name and second one display the greeting message. Welcome to activity 3 in application C. Okay, now here I am going to make this activity available for other applications. So I have to define an intent filter. So go to the manifest file open up the android manifest.xml here is the activity tag for the newly created activity so inside this activity tag I have to create an indent filter first I have to specify a, an action for the indent filter so here I am going to use the same intent filter name for the activity in application A. Here is the indent filter name. So here I am going to share the same indent filter name for activity in application A and application C. So specify the indent filter name Android name equal to use the same indent filter name. So if you if you are not watched the previous video please go back to the previous video and watch it so because we are create this indent filter on the previous video so now application a and application c contain activities that share the same indent filter name now we have to make this application they make this activity available for all application using the category make the category into default one into android name make it into default this will make sure that this activity is available for all the application available on the same device. Okay. Now here I am going to install this application on the same device. So now I run the project. Okay. Now we have the three application, application A, application B and application C available on a same virtual device. So in this case, application A and application C contain two activities that share the same intent filter name. And here in application B, I'm trying to start the activity with the intent filter name. That means using the implicit intent. So I open up the application B. So here we have two activity with the, that contain same indent filter name. So in this case, the Android system will issue a dialog that contain the component that share the same intent filter names. So I click click this button. So now here, the Android system will issue a dialog that contain activity three and activity two. Activity two is available in application A and activity three is available in application C. So the user can choose the appropriate component 
so I select activity 3 and select just once so this will open an activity available in application C so this is an intent filter collision this is how the Android system will handle the intent filter collision I hope you understand these concepts thank you for watching see you in the next episode